Alright. You should be able to hear me because of the uh, the mic I got on here. But we're out in, uh, we're at Caseville. We're out in the Saginaw Bay, Lake Huron area. Um, we are, this Memorial Day weekend, it's about 74 degrees. It's not very warm out here. Um, thought I'd do a video. There's uh, Caseville Beach. I'll try to, the waves are out there are pretty big. Here's our boat. Um, right here, they're about two to three feet. Out there, they're probably three to five feet. Depends on the boat. There goes a boat right there. I don't know if I can zoom in. Oh, that's zooming out. He does a boat pounding. This pontoon boat really handles the waves quite well. I'm really surprised how well it does. There's another boat right there. The waves out there in the bay are... The winds are coming out of like the southwest, I guess you would say. Uh, it can get pretty choppy out there. If they're coming out of the north, it would be even worse. But there's the uh, beach. There's a boat over there. Some people swimming over there. A lot of people at the beach, but on the 4th of July, that beach gets so packed, and then there's like 100 to 200 boats, it depends on the time, for the 4th. And then they got the uh, a raft off over there on Sand Island uh, in the bay. That's the first Saturday before um, the 4th of July, and it's really a lot of fun. There's people over here. Let's see if I can get them on there. Without bouncing too much. Yeah, you can see the waves right here. And we're in a 24 foot boat, too. So, if we weren't in this boat, it would be any worse. There's people, a lot of people on shore. Can't do anything about the rockiness. These waves are like pretty good size coming in through here. I know the camera never gives the boats or the waves uh, their well due, but. They're probably at least three feet, two feet, two to three feet in this area. Out there, they're three to five. That little boat over there is bouncing. I keep thinking that lady's going to get wet, but she hasn't got wet yet. So, good for her. Let's see if I zoom in a little bit more. There's people on the shore that got golf carts. That's just in one area. Then you got a campground over there, and this is Caseville Beach. This is up in the thumb of Michigan. In case people that don't know where Caseville is at, uh, it's a beautiful place in the summer, but this is the beginning of summer, so it's only like 74 degrees. It's not warm enough yet. But we got a campground now about 19 miles south of here, and uh, it's uh, Seabling. Uh, Michigan Seabling is how they pronounce it and we got a seasonal spot over there everybody must be in the water over there there's a couple people missing over there probably had to go to the bathroom there's houses all over the place if you go on the other side where Sand Point is it's uh, there's some really really nice houses over there very expensive like five to ten million dollar houses but it's so shallow over there, I couldn't get the boat over there. Too shallow. I can't believe these people are swimming in 50 degree water. I and mean, that water's got to be cold. Normally, Memorial Day weekends, like in the 40s and 50s, this weekend's because uh, of global warming or whatever you want to say. Uh, it's, it's about 74 degrees, so we can actually come out in the boat. Uh, but I didn't think... That it would be the swarm this weekend. I thought it'd be rainy and cold like it usually is on Memorial Day weekend. Michigan's terrible for Memorial Day weekend. It can get really cold and nasty. There's a golf cart over there. And we're at the five minute mark. All right, please like and subscribe, please. I would really appreciate some support for these videos. Um, if you want to see the boat, let me make it smaller here.
This is our boat. I'm trying to stand here with the waves. It's pretty uh pretty choppy. You can see how the back end of the boat's rising up. We got it backwards, we got it anchored on the back. We got our flag. Let's see if I can walk down this way. Farletta. There's our big Mich our United States flag, and there's our national championship Michigan flag. I gotta hold on to this bar. See the waves are coming into the back of the boat. Won't hurt the motor. The motor's up a little bit. And uh, the back's supposed to get wet, so no big deal. The hard part is going to be getting the anchor out of here. There's the uh, pier. I thought if we came more on this side, it would protect us from the waves, but it didn't do much. A little bit. There's white caps out there. It can be pretty nasty out there. But we went all the way over to Sand Point with the boat, and it was uh, three to five foot waves, and this thing handled it like a beast. It's a 24 foot Barretta area. UCTT. TT stands for Tritons. I can feel my top here vibrating, so you know the wind's strong. If it wasn't so windy out, it'd be great out here. Be actually warm. All right, I'm gonna log off here. Thank you. Like and subscribe, please.